another huge artist and you know very untimely death pop smoke yeah um i know you did you did the you engineered the woo yeah i was with him right before he passed away um and uh we had the studio and um you know that would have been special because um, when you say right before you mean like the day before a couple days before no, I, I was, was with him that night oh that night yeah wow and um you know i was uh we finished up our little run for the week and i was making sure that everything you know, was good for the A&R, and I was making sure all the bounces were correct, and I was at home, and then the assistant hit me and said, did you hear? And I was like, what are you talking about? Hmm. And I saw the news, and I broke down a bit right there because he was just a kid, and that one hit me kind of hard. But, yeah. um, um, man, what another talented, talented individual in the game um, gone far too soon. Was it different engineering him just being that his – vocal tone is like a baritone right like I feel yeah like not and he doubles them oh and he's a, so how is, is that yeah, different so just like, like yeah it's cool i love the flow i think a, a couple guys are picking up on that style now and um you know they're really tight i think i for the most part i kind of leave this stuff i see so i might we're doing it all on the fly right mm -hmm. so i'll be punching and then i'll be nudging and making sure that stuff's there. You know, sometimes I'll even be vocal lining live as mm. the stuff's going, you know what right. I mean? Just to make it super tight. Yeah. Um, but you gotta, you know, use your ear and find out what works best. Um, you know, um, yeah, but uh, sometimes I'll do clumsy edits too, just because you can't really hear them. And so, you know, you slice them and then just nudge as the record, there's going record, you know, nudging and making sure that you're just looking at the, um, the transients and everything in uh, Pro Tools, but um, if I feel like I really want it to be super tight, then I'll, then I'll just vocal line the two of them on the fly, yeah. just like that. But never skip a beat. Never have the artist wait for a punch. All right, run it back. Cool. Always just, you know, it's because, look, right now, today, I haven't worked with an artist that's written a song in a very long time. Songwriters, some of the stuff that we're writing for, um, we'll write stuff down. But a lot of my guys are just right off the top of the head, mm. right? And so you got to imagine being there and recording um, to where you have to remember the song. I, I got tricks for it, you know what I mean? Maybe I want somebody to remind of a lyric or come down or a melody and go into it, but all of that stuff's happening, so you have to be really fast, mm. you know, because we're the pen and paper now. You know what I mean? This, this right here is what they're writing on, Yeah. you know? And we have to make it feel as natural so that those ideas come as fluidly, you feel me? Love that. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, deeper voice and, I mean, just the melodies and, and the flows, you know, I was blown away every time with those sessions. Uh, uh, that's 